Yo, what's going on, guys? HP Plays here, and today I'm bringing you the next episode to our Pokemon Vault White Nuzlocke. Now, in the last episode, if you guys recall, I left you with a choice of Tepig, Oshawa, and Snivy. So, I've counted up all the votes, and we're now going to go through them from least amount of votes to the most amount of votes, and the one with the most amount of votes I shall be choosing for this Let's Play. So, Coming in at a number three spot. Now this guy had very few votes, which I'm not too annoyed about, but I'm not too sad about because if you recall I said in the last episode, I really enjoy his final evolution, but his first two, not so much. That's right, Oshawa came in at third place. Now man, in second place is Tepig. Oh wait, and Snivy. This was a draw. I don't know how to really do this when it's a draw, but I thought the best thing to do would be heads or tails. Now you guys can take my truthful opinion on this. I'm gonna make Snivy heads and Tepig tails. I never expected to get a draw, but here we go. You ready? I'm gonna flip the coin. It's heads! So I'm pretty sure that was Snivy. So we'll take Snivy and I think it's gonna be quite good. Is this Pokemon we want? Yes it is. Oh, some major lag right there, what the hell? At least I chose Snivy. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind, I wanted Tepic from the start anyway. <laughs> Everyone has chosen Pokemon. So, that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca. Even though they're still weak Pokemon, they shouldn't have a Pokemon battles inside our house. Don't be a worry war, these little weak ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. Let's it's settled. Lisa, get ready for a Pokemon battle. Dude. Uh, mm. Look at Lisa's face. So aggressive. Right, so the first battle of the Let's Play. Here we go. She has the Oshawa. Ugh, come on, man. Let's, let's see if we can do this. The pressure, the pressure is real right now. The pressure is real. We have a male Snivy. Not bad. I think I know what I'm going to call this thing. I know what I'm going to call it. I know what I'm going to call that. I've got an idea. Alright, so if you could stop going for Tail Whip. Eek! Ouch! I'm going to let you get away with that. <laughs> Alright. Sick, mate. And, uh, wow, this tackle might do a lot, actually. Uh, actually, no, even with a Tail Whip defense drop, that's not doing much. Uh, tackle is going to do... One more tackle, I think, will do a job. I think one more tackle, and that will be the job all done and dusted. Yep, there we go. Defoe's Oshawa has fainted, indeed. And we're gonna level up from that. Not bad, not bad, not bad! Snivy! Snivy's a powerful level 6 now! Woo, that speed! I have a feeling we could be jolly or timid, because that our speed stat wasn't nothing to laugh at really. So um if we're if we're timid Ooh, if we're timid, oh my god if we are timid. I need to check. Wow! Lisa, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday. I can tell. No doubt. Bitch. So do I. I know I'm gonna be good. Uh Bianca, would you take a look around? Uh, what the fuck's going on? Whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong. I'm so glad I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your room, Lisa. Sorry doesn't cook the cake, you slut. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll destroy your Pokemon for you. Lisa's Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. No, it didn't. It took like 10 damage. Hey, Sharon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without ruining a room, turning the room into a disaster or area like I did already. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair that you two are the only ones to have a fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Tepic. It's actually your first Pokemon battle, because if you don't recall with your short memory, I just had a Poke battle. But whatever, whatever, sure. 
I can turn to Sharon, and he's gonna have the t t t t Tepig. So let's let's have a look, cause if we, I I really do hope we're timid. Or oh, modest, modest is good too. Modest would be alright too. Let's have a look at this then. So let's check our Pokemon. Snivy. Oh no, wrong button. Summary. Um. Yo! Oh wait, no, this is Volt White. So, but we have Contrary, yo. Is that? We have a c contrary. That is too powerful. That is too pow. Yo, oh my god! I just realised this is Volt White. That means Superior is part Dragon type. Yo, if we're if we're timid or modest, stab Dragon Pulse. Contrary. Yo, too much power right there. But it does not seem to tell us what our nature is. But we're contrary, and that is that is very nice. I am not. I do not want to let Snivy go. Snivy will stay to the end. Stab Lee Storms and Dragon Pulse with Contrary. Wow, that's so OP. A funny Pokemon trainer. Everything starts from here. Yo, that is too good. That is too powerful. Too po too much power right there in the hands of a little green thing. All we need now is some good account encounters to go along with it. That's all we need. Uh, oh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. Come on, let's see if he's attacking. Take it out. Yeah, my little, my little nigger Snivy's doing this. Let's do this. Level seven now. Wow, we are we're doing well. And we got Vine Whip now. Just where's the champion? Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle, Sen. 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 Wow, I'm 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 speaking a different language now. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but. This feeling I have. I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about the messed up room. Oh, um, uh, I I'd better come too. Look at this room. Look at it. But let's let's check our Pokemon out right here. We already know he's got that fantastic abilities. Uh, he's a hasty nature. Okay, so that's what increased. I still think that's increased speed for defense. I'm pretty sure red is the increased one. Is red the increased one? Start and then blue the decreased one? Yeah, it, it is, it is, it is. So, we have, do have an increased speed nature. And let's think about weaknesses. Well, Ice Fang and Fire Fang are gonna hurt a lot. Especially Ice Fang. But I don't know many other like physical moves that can do a lot of damage. I mean, Ice Fang can do a lot. Fire Fang can. Uh, flame Charge. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor? Oh, that's a, that's a female. I'm sorry for giving you a man's voice. Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over! Why don't we give our mum's voice? I, I, she's not that big of a character, so I'll just give her a little voice that I probably won't remember. My, my, Lisa! Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Yeah, it's because it's only one floor. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know after a Pokemon battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. We sure do, we sure do. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your bicycle and iPhone. Because in this generation, you're not a kid unless you have an iPhone, even though I don't have an iPhone, so... Yeah. You're gonna thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. Right, see, so why is my running, my walking animation there seems really messed up? But either way, look at them pedos. Like, what encounters would I like in this first route? Actually, no, I don't know what you can get in this first route because this is Volt White. I mean, we can get some really nifty encounters. Wow, nifty! Right, I I said that. That's a thing. I just said nifty. So um, let's see what's going on in here. No! No! A thousand times no! But, I'm a little slut and I need to go and find some... No, I'm not even going to make Bianca be like that. I'm a good trainer who got Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Alright. Well, that guy's a little bit uh, on his period, but we're just gonna go and walk up upon the lab now. And let's—I've never spoken to this woman in this place. That's what she says. 
Do you think traveling with Pokemon changes people? Yeah, it does. Wow, that was pointless, but anyway. I don't know why, but it seems like the frames are really weird for some reason. I, mean, I apologize if it's the same for you, but maybe it's just me. Okay, let's go meet the professor. I need to change the tech speed, I just realized. Uh, can I pause before we go to the professor so I can change it? No? Okay. Such a small lab, oh my gosh. Hi there! I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Sharon. This is not to take things light lightly. Today is a day to remember, as always. So it's best to have behave with for some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why... It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, I would. Thanks very much. I feel... Now, I... At first I was going to call him Emerald, but then I thought, with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire come out, Delta Emerald would be like, the next one, if there was one, which I don't think there will be for quite some time. So it's between Emerald or Delta. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to go for Emerald, but I think Delta just sounds badass to fit a Grass Dragon type. So I think we're going to go with Delta. It's also probably a bit, it's a bit smaller, so it might be able to fit on the, uh, fit on the uh, layout a little bit better. So Delta, the contrary Snivy. This is going to be so much power. Uh huh. I see you're okay with the nickname Delta. I sure am. I sure am. Delta it is its name. That's such a great name. I know it is. I know. I know. That's why I gave you all the uh, Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? P Pokedex. I am astonished. Nice work, Sharon. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything for beginning, for everyone's sake. Don't, please, please don't. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you've encountered. So, I want you three to visit many places to meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Lisa, Sharon, Bianca, you go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Sure, why not? Got nothing else to do. Uh, okay, I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer. Exactly as, as I've always wished. All of you. Thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. You get a nice, powerful pink! 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 Pokedex. Next, I need you to teach... I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Well, I'm going to speed through the catching process because... It's nothing you've not seen before, so, yeah. So, since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want, while we complete the Pokedex. Well, let's go some fuck some mad bitches. Ah. Oh. Come on, Lisa, wait up! Oh, what was the mum's voice? I can't remember. I'm just going to give her a voice again. Oh, there you are, and what did Professor Juniper have to say? She asked you to complete a Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. Wow, thanks for keeping it a secret, mum. Thanks. That's why I bought you three these town maps. Take them with you. Let's go, town maps, town maps, town maps. In the key items case. Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Uh, th th thank you so much. As for your room, Lisa. Or what is left of it. <laughs> no need for you to worry. I'll take care tidying it up. Okay, Lisa. Okay. Ah, Pokemon, they're so cute. We have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. With Pokemon laid out on your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. Hope in addition to that, your Pokemon will you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Nova region. And become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. Oh, let's go. I think the plan for this episode is we shall 
go there now to catch Pokemon and get into the next city, area, town thing. And then uh, in the next episode, we should we should get some encounters, I think. So I don't know if we'll get an encounter in this episode, which is unfortunate, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, we're gonna change the tech speed. And the frame... And, uh, I'm not gonna find it in the bag. I am not finding it in the bag. Right, um... Oh, we can't choose a border in this game, can we? I forgot. Alright, let's confirm. And let's, let's begin our adventure. In Unova. Ah, <sighs> Lisa, it's this way! Bianca says if we're starting the journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Lisa, let's let all take our first step onto Route 1 together. Okay, here we go. One, two... Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't it so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that's everyone here, I'll explain. The P Pokedex's pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Let's see what Professor Juniper's first encounter on this route is. It's a patch rat. It is a patch rat. It is legit a swag rat. It is indeed. It is legit swag rat. So we're uh, we're gonna speed up through this because um okay we're not gonna speed it wait can we all right well my speed up button is like nah not today you are not working today so we can't speed up through this but it's a quicker one than usual it's straight into the red level seven Minchino however you say that name but can Professor Juniper catch the swag rat can she can she catch it stay in the ball. Congratulations, Mrs. Juniper, you have caught yourself a swaggy pat rat. Congratulations, congrats. Congratulations. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes. Step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have a lot of e their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's move to make sure they won't... Is blip, blip, blip. To make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs. Oh, so we can actually get an encounter this episode. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. So we are going to get an encounter. Ooh, I hope Dreano puts something good in. I hope Dreano has put something good in this hike. Because if it was just normal Pokemon, I'd normally get them white. I'm looking for a Purloin? Or a P Dove. I don't know if P Dove's on here, though. I am pretty sure, though, that. Um, Dreano, but Puccino and Zigzagoon in here, and I would really like a Puccino. Puccino would be really cool to have. A Lunin would be good as well, because that thing can learn a lot of HMs as well, and it's still got a lot of power, like a Belly Drum Extreme Speed. Pfft, come on. She forgot to say that. Pokemon jump out to you in Tallgrass. I'm heading to Accumulate Town, too. I think I'll go, too. I'm looking forward to get some t to next town, so I go shopping for some Pokeballs! Wait a minute. Hey! Listen, Sharon, listen. I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I imagine Professor's waiting, too. Would you just listen for one sec? Seriously! We don't... We, bleep, I can't speak. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner! Huh. Actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up my Pokemon, Pokemon, my Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the Professor too. Okay, then until we reach a, reach a cumulative town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your house. Me and Arshawa will do the best for sure. Well, um, we're gonna grab an encounter, and then uh, we'll probably the video probably won't be too much longer. But let's see what the sign says. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Route one. Wow, such detail. Fingers crossed, I really, I, I, I have a feeling Puccina is in this route, and I would like Puccina, because my Tiana is, if he's, if he's given my Snivy contrary, if I can get a Puccina, or my Tiana, I mean, with Moxie, 
Oh my lord! I will be settled. First step of grass, come on. A Hutu! Wow! Nice and scrubby! I hate Hutu. Hutu is my least favourite flying type in any Pokemon game. But I'm pretty sure Vine won't do too much to it. In before it one hit KOs. Okay, that's doing nothing. Nightshade! Ooh, that's not a bad move. That's not a bad move to have. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We'll hit it with another Vine Whip. I'm scared now. Oh, I was going for Foresight. We can go for another Vine Whip, I'm pretty sure. I know what I want to call this here. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies, oh my lord. I choked on something there. Um, it can live another Vine Whip. And I think if we do catch this, I have no idea what I'm going to call it. Oh, crit! Delta, calm down, please! Please! I bet you that's 1 HP. Oh my gosh! Delta, calm down. P seriously? Right, fingers crossed, this Hutu will stay in the ball. Well, I'm not too bothered because I don't really like a Hutu, but either way, it's always nice to have an extra member. There we go, we got a Hutu! Nice, nice and powerful. I don't know what to call this thing. I honestly have no idea what I want to call this. It marks time precisely. Some countries consider it to be a wise friend, versed in the world's ways. A wise friend. Uh, it's a female. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Now, it's a wise, it's meant to be a wise Pokemon. You, when you think of wise people, you think of uh, like elders. Elders, they're wise. But if it was a male, I'd call it elder. But this is a female, so I wanted to call it. Basically, if 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 it's a male-sounding word and I want to make it sound female, I usually add on a or 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 ra or something like that. So I'm gonna call it Eldora. No idea why, but Eldora the Noctowl. Hopefully, it'll be an Noctowl. Hopefully, it will be an Noctowl. Eldor, Elder. Eldora or Eldora? I think Eldora sounds better. Eldor. Eldora. Eldora the Hutu. So let's check out this Hutu. Let's check it out. Eldora the Hutu. It is 1 HP. 1 HP. Delta, you need to calm down, man. Don't want you doing that again. I don't want you getting crits, but on an encounter? That's too risky, man. Let's see. It is an adamant nature, so those flies, those flies are going to be hitting hard, along with those aerial aces. But unfortunately, confusion, which I know Noctowl does learn, isn't going to be as good, especially as a special attack lowering nature. So it probably isn't the most ideal nature, but if we get fly on this finger or aerial ace, because I'm pretty sure they are physical. They look physical in the game, at least, so um, I'm sure it'll be fine. So let's, let's continue this route. Let's see what we find. Bet you this is a Poochiana. It's a Lillipup. Lily I forgot about Lillipup. I used Lillipup the first time I ever played Pokemon White. First time I... This, first, this little fella right here was the first Pokemon I ever caught in Unova. Oh, the, the, the memories. The memories are coming back at me. So, uh, wait. Does someone... Wait, do you give me a potion? Is, is it you up here? I feel like... Oh, more encounters. Brilliant. Uh, Starly, yo, dude, Starly is so cool, man. I would have loved Starly. I would have loved Starly, like you don't even know. Well, I'm hoping Starly took the place of, uh, like, I hope Starly is going to be like Pidov. So I hope we do. Starly is going to be quite common because I love Staraptor. Staraptor, Staraptor is the legit meaning of power. If we get Starly, I will replace it for Eldora. Um, because. No, I don't. I know I said I didn't like Hutu, but Noctowl is not bad. But just the fact that it's got a special attack lowering nature, when I think Noctowl is more of a special attacker. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still choking. But considering Noctowl, I'm pretty sure is a special attacker. Adamant really isn't the best nature. So if we can get a good nature on a Starly, Adamant would be nice. Adamant would be nice. Do you want to compare which compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Let's see when I see one. Seems the number of Lisa has is two. We all have the same number then. Incidentally, if you check out your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Akuma Town, where Professor is waiting. Ooh, the cross transceiver is wing wing winging. Wow. 
Hello, how's everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great, right? Oh, Professor! Right now I'm in front of the Cumulus Pokemon Town, Pokemon, t Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right? Okay, see you! Well, I'm going on ahead. Wait for me, wow, such good friends. Here we are guys, we're in a Cumulus Town, so we are going to get in this Pokemon Center, finish up in here, and then I'm probably going to end the video off. So, uh, yeah. Ah, Lisa, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please, follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. I know it, but whatever. We can't speed up for some reason. So, we're stuck like this. This is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Okay, let's start your tour. Huh? Oh, wait for me! A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. A Pokemon Center is the trainer's best friend. Here, Lisa, give it a try. Well, I will actually, because my Aldora is living on 1 HP thanks to a critical hit Vinoip from Delta, so... I would like to rest one Pokemon if that is okay with you. I think we did get quite lucky, actually, because Eldora is level 4, and that's like one of the highest levels I've... Uh, I think he can get like an uh, early route, but considering this is Dreano, it wouldn't surprise me if he put some level 6s and 7s in there. Okay, now that your Pokemon have rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at a Pokemon Center. This is a PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes or select them stored or select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes to take along with you. In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon while you have 6 traveling with you, the Pokemon you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing. Even here's something that cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate your prog progress you've made on your Pokedex. Professor? It says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. What a great observation. Good question, and I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I'd like to access my PC, please, to put a def box in, even though we won't need a def box, because I'm far too elite to need one, but either way, just for backup. Now, this is the Pokemon. This is the place to buy useful items and sell that ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I'll give, I've given you the basics of being a Pokemon trainer, and I'm gonna, gonna head back to New Vemma Town. Oh, one final thing. When you go to Striaton City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from a long, from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck. I hope that your journeys prove to be the adventure of a lifetime. Ah, what a beautiful tour. Ooh, what do I buy? Potions and pokeballs are really important. Um, thinking. Oh, well guys, it's been a brilliant second episode, and we've ha we've met some beautiful guys, we've got such a good Delta, Delta is going to be such an, a brilliant guy, I know he is, contrary, dragon typing, increased speed nature, oh, Eldora on your hand, I'm sure I can make work, I'm sure we can make work with Eldora, it's, it is in story, so I'm sure the natures won't matter too much, it's just the fact that it's a Dreano hack, no one, you don't know what could happen. Drano always has something stuck up his sleeve. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this second episode of the Pokemon Vault White Nuzlocke. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow where there'll be another episode. And please, guys, leave a like. It helps so much. And I love the fact that you're supporting the series. And see you guys next time. Peace.